Assalamu alaikum dear students and hello everyone welcome back to learn daily physics and as uh, you can see that in our previous two lectures we have discussed that when a particle is placed inside a magnetic field so we derived some equations for that and today we are going to use these equations and we are going to discuss the motion of that particle when it is placed in a magnetic field in the previous case the electric field was equals to zero you can see on your first page of a lecture in my first lecture of this chapter chapter number two this is the chapter number two of f chen page number 19 on the page number 19 of uh, f chen books f chen i can't recall the addition but uh, e is zero for the first case okay so you know that when we apply a magnetic field like this okay it's from the north pole to the south pole okay it is just like positive charge this is in when we when you are talking about the electric field it is just like positive charge this one is a positive charge you can say for electric field this one is positive charge and this one is negative charge uh, the um, electric field lines are originated from positive field lines and toward the negative charge okay from positive to negative and in the magnetic field you know that magnetic field lines are from north pole to the south pole so they are generated from north pole to south pole like this okay from this direction to this direction okay like this so now we have a charged particle you can see here i've took this video from youtube animation from youtube i hope they won't be angry on me so we have a charged particle in this magnetic field it will be in the region where this magnetic field is influenced so in the effect of magnetic field what happened to this charge let's say oh it started the circular motion and we know that when a charge is placed in a magnetic field it starts to move in a circle and we already derived the e over m value uh, we used uh, the centripetal force equals to qvb and then we derived the value of r uh, same thing we are going to do here you know that this is a q positive charge and it is revolving here q q q same q this is a b magnetic field here and this is f is the centripetal force you know that what centripetal force is a centripetal force is a force which is required to move a particle in a circular motion and it is always directed toward center you can see here that this f is directed toward center okay this f is directed toward center all of these three f are directed toward center this is the same q and at different positions this is no different charge a single charge this one is first here then it will here it was here and at the third time it was here so it rotates in a circular motion it is its tangential velocity we say we can say only its velocity is on, along the time tangential so this is its tangential velocity so now we will see that what happens this is r another thing here is r this is r perpendicular because uh, why this is r perpendicular we will say this r perpendicular because we are using in our equation is r perpendicular and this r perpendicular is equals to that this r is perpendicular to the velocity component okay this is v perpendicular and this is r perpendicular what is v perpendicular we will see in next we will see next that what is v perpendicular but this r is equals to r perpendicular because this, it is perpendicular to the velocity component okay i i wrote this in equation when, when we were driving the equation in our previous lectures that this r is equals to r perpendicular and what is r perpendicular r perpendicular is equals to i think v is equals to r omega and r is equals to omega v over omega this r is equals to v over omega so this when this was this is v perpendicular and uh, omega is equals to cyclotron frequency omega c and this r will be r perpendicular because this will be the v perpendicular okay so moving on that 
in a, now we are moving toward our case now we have seen that when it is placed in magnetic field it circulates okay so now another thing the motion in perpendicular is helical in shape okay it's moving helically okay when the bee is perpendicular it will move in a spiral shape it will move in alarm it will perform a lamar motion and uh, it will gyrate gyrate it will we can say gyrate so it will do gyration okay what is gyration let's talk about what is gyration so when the positive charge here we are putting a positive charge and see here it is moving in a spring shape this made a spring you can say and it is let's see here it is moving in a spiral shape what is this spiral shape i hope for this is uh, the, gra the gra graphics are not the quality is not good because i'm using my own tab for that so um, sorry for that but when this charge is inserted in the magnetic field it shows a spiral movement okay you can see this is a spiral movement here and this spiral movement is along x axis okay uh, we are not going to say this is along x axis we will say that this is along the direction of magnetic field magnetic field is along x axis you can see that this magnetic field is from north to south and this is the x axis our x axis is from north to south so we can say that charge is moving toward x axis while doing gyration on y and z axis its circular motion is along y and z axis you can see it's along y and z axis but the movement is along the displacement is along x axis okay so it is this is what gyration is this motion is gyration okay so we will say that uh, the the centripetal force is equals to magnetic force qvb and v square over r is equals to qvb and from here we can we will calculate the value of r let's see which gives r equals to mv okay uh, where is it hey so r equals to mv over qb so from this we we've derived the value of r so we will put that v is equals to r omega and uh, v is equals to r omega r will be equals to v over omega we will put v over omega in in this side on the left side here so uh, v will be cancelled out with v will be cancelled out v here and v here so it will be equals to 1 over omega is equals to mv over qb so omega will be omega c will be equals to qv over qb over m which is a which is our cyclotron frequency and we put in this cyclotron frequency in our previous two lectures omega c will be equals to qb over m by solving this equation so uh, you understand what uh, a cyclotron is uh, what uh, what is when a positive charge is placed here it it will do gyrations okay which is our first case so i have a question for you that what happens when we place a negative charge here this was a positive charge and what we what happens when we place a negative charge here when we place a negative charge here the negative charge will insert it here let's say and it will do an opposite motion if this is clockwise it is moving clockwise and moving in this direction positive x axis the negative charge will move in the anti clockwise direction and move in the negative x axis okay it will be opposite the direction and the motion will be opposite to, to the motion of this positive charge so now we have discussed everything and i hope you understand what we are going to do from the north south south and everything we have discussed here so now we have to go toward our calculation and we will see that what happens in our case okay so let's say uh, i should have turned on my lights okay now you can see so our gyration will be like this and how it will be like this 
so in our previous topic you have seen that i've told you that this uh, let's see here this is in the direction of the motion is along the direction of for the positive charge the motion is along the direction of field magnetic field in our case when we see in our case uh, we have a magnetic field uh, using my first page here I told you that B is equals to B of Z here uh, we've only take the component Z component K component of the magnetic field so what will be the direction of positive charge it will also be in the direction of Z okay we've applied the magnetic field in Z direction so what will happen to the motion it will be along the Z direction so now we've discussed that this motion will be along Z axis now we have some equation which you have to recall in your mind we will use these equation in our next cases three and four cases toroidal case uh, when e is not zero e is e have some infin infinite value and when e is not uniform when b is not uniform uh, next cases we are going to uh, drive and we are going to discuss what they are so first we had you have to recall these you have to remember these equations in your mind okay write them some somewhere and remember them just remember them in in, the, in your brain that uh, we are going to all these equations are used in our next lectures we will use th these equations in our in, in different situations but the values of these equations will be same okay so recall these equations so and we drive this equation this equation and from that from this equation from uh, you, you will be thinking that where this equation come from from this equation okay alpha is equals to v perpendicular and v perpendicular omega c is equals to r perpendicular v is equals to r omega and this x naught was an arbitrary origin and we uh, take the arbitrary origin zero okay we said that this arbitrary origin is zero and uh, this arbitrary origin is zero so x will be equals to you can say x minus x naught will be equals to r perpendicular sine omega ct and y minus y naught is equals to r perpendicular cos omega ct this plus and negative sign is showing that plus is for the positive charge and the negative one is for the negative charge so where is our diagram here it is so you can see here in our diagram we've applied a magnetic field in the z direction so our motion will be along z action so, so our gyration is along z axis we have already discussed in the animation so e was zero here and what will happen that uh, we have an important question here that uh, tell me why a particle why plasma in the magnetic field show diamagnetic behavior okay why plasma show diamagnetic behavior plasma when we apply magnetic field it shows a diamagnetic behavior so this is an important question so when this charge moves you know that a moving charge according to faraday's law of uh, uh, electromagnetic induction a motion in a charge ampere's law also states that when a, when a charge moves it produces electric current because of that induced electric current we have an induced magnetic field boyd severett law so this induced magnetic field what will be that the direction of this induced magnetic field so we will calculate this from the left hand rule okay so the direction will be like this and it will be opposite to this okay so b induced here will be opposite in the direction b induced will be opposite in the direction 
and in the diamagnetic we say that when we apply uh, the diamagnetic what is a diamagnetic material uh, a diamagnetic material in which domain cancel out the external cause in which the internal magnetic field induced magnetic field tries to cancel out the external magnetic field i hope this one this is the external magnetic field and this is the induced magnetic field so external magnetic field is, is in this direction so induced magnetic field will be in this direction and they both will try to cancel out each other so that's why when this charge moves it got it gyrates this gyration produce a magnetic field and this magnetic field is opposite to the direction of opposite to the direction of applied magnetic field which is the behavior of diamagnetic material so that's why a particle moving in like this uh, shows us a diamagnetic behavior so this is our this was the question and so you had now you have understand why it show diamagnetic behavior now for the negative charge you can hear you can hear vy perpendicular you can draw vy perpendicular here from here to here and uh, you can draw uh, vx also v perpendicular and here it will be v perpendicular you have seen that here that uh, what was v perpendicular let's see that when now you can see that this is moving along x axis and y and z axis the circulation is not along a, sim, a single plane it's a little bit tilted and when it is a tilt there is a tilt in it we have two components v perpendicular and v we can say v tangential and v parallel uh, when we discuss boundary condition we drive uh, these uh, things v perpendicular and v parallel just like that this is same case like that so we have a perpendicular and v parallel we are not going to consider this v parallel we are going to consider this v perpendicular because r perpendicular and v perpendicular and our motion is along this v perpendicular so this v perpendicular is equals to this this v perpendicular will be same like here okay so it let's say for that case it will be x axis it will be y and z axis okay now you can see that i should have made this here but our b of z was applied in this direction so i should make like this so when we have a negative charge here it will move in the opposite direction and it will move in gyrate like this and this was in in the clockwise anti clockwise direction this will be in the clockwise direction and along the negative z axis along negative z axis will be in this direction okay so it will move like this okay so now you understand how to draw the graph in the next case when we apply a e it will move a little bit higher and how it moves a little bit higher we will discuss that in our next lecture i hope you understand everything and uh, if you like my video just like it comment it and subscribe my channel tell them to your friends that uh, if you subscribe my channel so it will it's an opportunity for me to monetize my channel and when my channel will be monetized i will get all that tensions here from uh, anything any will from uh, any cost that i'm having from there i can give that to any animator who can make my own animations i'm i've taken this animation from a youtube video you can understand that much uh, because i don't have i'm a student of my own and uh, for that i'm doing my best but uh, in the case of animation you can see that uh, there is a little bit problem so to solve that problem i have to spend something and i'm spending a lot a lot of my time a lot of my money you can say so subscribe to my channel and pay attention and share it with your friends because i'm telling you all what i have so you have to give me all what you have and you can give me that in return that you can subscribe to my channel and you can tell my your friends that this is an informative thing i hope no one is going to tell you like this that i am telling you so thank you very much for your time and assalamu alaikum